going on, y'all? It's T. Mon Phillips with New Richmond Podcast. Shout out to Bite Size Bubs. She joined us today for a range session. As you can see, we got a couple of our toys laid out on the table. I'll go ahead and start with this one. Right here, we got a AR-15 Smith & Wesson MMP-15. It shoots 5.56 and 2.23. Right now, I got a 40 round magazine in it with a plus six Terran tactical base plate. We got the sight mark, R spec, uh, reflex sight, along with the UTG uh, magnifier. On to the next one. We got my nice, beautiful home protection shotgun. This is a Remington 870 tactical. Believe it or not, it was a police trading and I got this for 200 bucks. I did a couple additions on it. Uh, I put on an adapter that allows it to take AR-15 stocks. So we got an adjustable butt stock, AR-15 pistol grip. And my newest addition was the Strike Industries aluminum 4N for cocking. Out front, we got the Surefire, just a Surefire tac light. It has two modes, uh, it's like 30 lumens and then like a 600 lumens. You can't see it because it's too bright, but this is one of my go-to weapons right here. On to this one. I know y'all seen this one before. This is my AKM 47 pistol, Polish Hell Pup. We got the SBA3 pistol brace on the back. A nice stipple uh, Magpul grip here. Magpul magazine spray painted. You can see we got the nice gold going on. Uh, one of my favorite optics. This is a Hollow Sign, uh, Hollow Sign 510C, and uh, Olight Balder Pro, Balder Pro. This is a light and laser combo. You can't see it right now, but I'll show y'all a little bit later what it looks like. This one shoots 762. Big ass bullet. And this is the one that you'll see. Well, you probably wouldn't see, but if, you, if, you, if you've been on my Instagram, I've taken pictures of it in my passenger seat because this one go with me everywhere. On to the next, since we're talking pistols, this is my Palmetto State Armory AR-15 pistol. Just like the AR-15 rifle, this one shoots 5.56 and 2.23. This is also another 40 round mag with the plus five base plate. We got a mag pull angle grip up front. A blast diverter. I know it kind of looks like a silencer, but it's not. It's a blast diverter. We got the flip up mag pull sights. No brace, just a buffer tube with the foam on it. All right. Shout out my cousin Trey P. We got his mini Draco in the building. Everybody know what a Draco is. It shoot that big ass bullet too. That seven six two by thirty nine. Um, this one is pretty much stock. It has a different muzzle brake on it. This is the Manicore Nightbreak, and he got a stipple grip as well. He decided to put some rubber rubber bands on it, which actually does feel pretty good. Believe it or not, for AK, this one got a really smooth action. All right, now let's talk real pistols. Pistol, pistol. This is my everyday carry Beretta APX 40 cal. This was the first gun I ever bought. Goes with me everywhere, every day. We got an Olight Balder Pro uh, tack light as well. Light laser combo. And you can't see them right now, but we got night sights on here. So they glow in the dark. So when you got it on your nightstand at night, you can see the sights. So it'll be easy to acquire your target in the dark. Last but not least, everybody knows what this is. You know what this is? <laughs> this is a Glock. Glock 23. This is also a police trade-in. I don't know if I mentioned it for my uh, Remington 870. That was a police trade-in. This was a police trade-in too. So I didn't do much to it other than stipple the frame and change out the slide release. So we got the same type of tack light on the front as well. The light laser combo. We got night sights as well, just like on a Beretta. And this is a Glock 23, but it's a Glock 22 mag. So this one has 15 rounds with a plus five base plate. So what's that, 20 rounds? Mm -hmm. 20 rounds in the Glock. Yes, it's your girl Bite Size Buzz. And T-Mon has us out here to shoot some guns today. Yeah. 
Let's see, the first one we got, she was like, let's start with the handgun. So I bought the pistols out. This is Beretta APX. Is it going to autofocus? How you do that mm -hmm. shit? Beretta APX 40 cal. It's real. You got your ears in? Yeah, I got my ears okay. in. I'm scared, y'all. Y'all know I am scared of the loud noise. My dominant hand, I got a nice firm grip on it. You see, you're going to have a lot of space right here. A lot of space right here. Just take this part of your hand, slap it right there. Just grip it real tight. I already racked it. It's already ready to shoot. So we're just going to pull the trigger. It's not so bad, is it? No. It's a little scary. It's got a lot. All right. So I want you to practice racking it first. Go ahead. It's empty right now. There's no round in it. Okay. So just feel real comfortable. When, it, when, we, when I put the magazine in, you're going to grab it with this hand on top. Whatever is comfortable for you. Okay. Put it to the back and just let it go. Okay. A lot of people, when they do it, they keep their hand on it and ride it for it. You don't want to do that because you might cause a malfunction. All right? Well, go ahead and practice racking it real quick. Okay. Pull it. You got to pull it. <laughs> Grab it and pull it. There you go. Pull it all the way to the back. That was close. It's a little tough. All right, so what I'm going to do is... It's so... Y'all, it is so tough. And y'all know I got my nails and my little baby hands. I'm going to do it for you. So, it's ready to shoot. You see the bullet in there? Okay. It's ready to shoot. So, when you grab it, keep your finger off the trigger. Okay. Until you're ready to shoot. I'm going to hand it to you like this. Okay. Good job. All right. Remember how I told you to grip it? Uh-uh. Slap that part of it the, right there. Thumb forward. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap that around. Yeah, you good to go. Squeeze it tight and shoot. It's all right. Extend out. Hey, Mom, I'm not gonna lie. I'm kind of scared. It's all right. Go ahead. It's, a, it's gonna be a loud noise, but that's about it. What you think? Tell them what you think. It's not as. It's nowhere near as bad as I thought it was See? gonna be, y'all. I thought it was gonna be like. It's just a loud noise. That's all right. It is. It's just a loud noise. You ready for some of the big ones? I'm ready for something big. Right. Let's get it. Fuck it. So here we got a uh, Palmetto State Armory AR pistol, 10 and a half inch barrel. Just don't shoot them little bullets you was looking at. You see that? Get into it. I'm gonna take it off of safe and load it up for you. So when you grab it, it's just gonna be time for you to shoot. Okay. So right now it's not loaded. Right, it's not loaded. So, when you hold this one, you're gonna take your dominant hand, the same hand you was pulling the trigger with on the pistol, you come just like that. Finger off the trigger, you take your support hand, you're gonna grab right here. This is the angle for grip for you to grab on. Um, when you aim to shoot, mm -hmm. you're gonna take this part, this is called the buffer tube, okay. just put it right on your cheek. And you wanna put it on your cheek to the point where you can look through this hole and see this post here in the middle, this is called the front post. Okay. You should be able to see that post through here. And whenever you put that post on, when you're looking at it through here, that's what you're gonna hit. Okay. So, I'm gonna go ahead and shoot it. Just like this. You ready? Mm -hmm. It's loud. That one is loud. I'm scared to put that against my cheek. You ready? It's fine. It's, it's not going to hurt you at all. So there's no round in the chamber. So I want you to practice holding it for a second. Okay. There you go. Right Dominant. there. The pistol grip. Wrap your thumb around. There you go. And you take your support hand right there. There you go. Right there on your cheek. Can you extend it out anymore? All right. So do like this. Just to, to get the gun out a little further, take this hand and put it right here. Yeah. Now extend it out a little more. There you go, but keep that on your cheek. What do you think? Is that comfortable? Am I holding it right? Yeah, that's yeah, that's pretty good. You ready to shoot it? I'm scared, T. No, you ready to shoot it. Mm -hmm. right. There you go. It's all safe. All you gotta do is pull the trigger when you wanna shoot. It's just gonna be loud, that's it. Shit! Oh, the gun smoke! Okay. Sat back on safe. Don't fucking play with me. <laughs> Understand? What you think about that one? 
I love that one. You like it, right? Hell yeah, I like it. Like it's scary, but after the after the first couple shots, you like, yeah. I got this. I never thought I would want to. I never thought I would say that. I don't even like fireworks. Okay. You handle that job real well, but lean into it just a little bit more. Right. Oh yeah. Oh, oh, you found on, some hold on. Seven? Please tell nah, us what I that is. Everybody don't got this. What's that? <laughs> this, this some crazy shit right here. It's right here. This is a CMMG Banshee, but it don't shoot no regular bullets. It shoot five seven. You see them blue tips? That's real dangerous. These these bullets, um, they're really hard to find mm. because they can't have it in a package that's real small, and it's, it don't make a lot of noise, but it penetrates a whole lot. So. But this one, you see how little it is. It's real easy to shoot. You see that? <laughs> so this one operates just like that one. You wanna give it a shot? You see, it's a lot smaller than this one. You can actually put your hand up here in the grip. Right here? Just like that, yep. And you don't have to put that one on your, you can put it on your cheek. It's kind of short. I don't, because I extend it out, but your arm's a little shorter than mine. So you can kind of, yep, put it up against your cheek. That one hurt my cheek a little bit. Did it really? Yeah. Yeah, that one don't have a foam on it. <laughs> it don't have a foam on it. So this is a CMMG Banshee shooting 5.7. You can't buy these no more for real. These shits is like can. off the shelf. <laughs> you wanna try something else? Yeah, let's do All something right. else. All right, y'all. We got some real serious. Don't play with it. <laughs> All right. I feel like I'm ready to start rapping, man. If you listen to rap music, everybody has heard of a Draco. Shout out my cousin Trey P. This is his mini Draco. It shoot the same bullets, just like a full size AK. 7.62 by 39. I'm gonna be honest. You thought that other shit was loud. This is probably the loudest gun out here. And probably got the most kick on it out here. Oh, I, I don't know if I'm gonna shoot that. I think this is up to you. No, you definitely gonna shoot it. <laughs> this is up you to you. You definitely gonna shoot it. <laughs> the Drake. You ready? Yeah. Don't try to get out the frame. <laughs> get in the frame. Did you see that fireball? Did y'all see the fireball? Look. You feel the heat? Do you feel oh, the heat? That's that made the camera die. Oh y'all. Oh, These little glasses fucking with my lashes. But look, it's real easy. Just take your hand, just like this. Support hand right here on the wood. You go hold this one out in front of you. So just hold it out, mm -hmm. hang on for dear life, and just pull it to No, I'm joking. It's not no. that bad. It's not that bad. Grab this, pull it to the back, mm -hmm. let go. So I took the safety off already for you. There you go. That shit ready. I'm scared of that, T-Mom. No, you're going to be fine. Come on. What if it hit me in my mouth? It's not going to hit you. It's just a gun. You a person. You control that thing. You the person. God damn, that bitch rock. Don't play with my size gloves. Let me see it. Take it up off me. Get it up off me. Nice. <laughs> That's wicked. That's wicked. Alright, I lied. When I said the Draco was loud. That's louder than the Draco. It might be. I don't know. This is, this is some heavy shit right here, though. This is a 12 gauge shotgun. I mean, I, I got slugs. We ain't gonna shoot no slugs though. I got a real light load, a bird shot that will be, I guess, pretty easy for you to shoot. Mm. What up? Oh, safety. Shotguns are known for their kick. Mm -hmm. Um, This was a really light one. I don't know how that'll feel to you. You think Actually, you wanna try it? I'm not it? interested in that. You don't wanna try it? <laughs> kinda... Come on. It's so long and big and the kick is crazy and... Let me see, let me try that again. How bad was that? Yeah, do that in shell that? bubbles again. Yeah, that's pretty powerful. Exactly, and, and I ain't got one. it. <laughs> Hot boy. This is what people use in the house. Like, so if a burglar come in, I feel sorry for who come in my, in my place at night. Come around this way, you will get clapped. <laughs> this one don't really need no introduction. Y'all know what this is. It's ready to go. So this is pretty much, you can see it's just like the Draco. It has a longer barrel. Okay. So um, it's not as loud and it doesn't kick as much as the Draco. So you might like this okay. one a little better. It's still 
loud though. As a big. And it's fire. I think you're gonna like this one way more than the Drake. You one. think so? Yeah, let me close it up for you. It's on safety. There is a round in the chamber, so when you put your hand on here, just keep it off the trigger. Oh, this grip hurts. Oh yes. You <laughs> gotta have man hands for that, my bad. <laughs> Better this than feels better, go. right? Oh, you yes. know me. It feels way better. Way better. Yeah. And I didn't even have to use my AK. <laughs> Today was a good day. <laughs> yeah, this is my, like I said, this is my one that's in the mm. car with me. I like mean. that. We got one more left. This is the AR 15, 16 inch. Barrel AR-15 shoot five five six two two three. Um, this I call this one. I call it a couple things. I call it my war rifle because if you if it was time to really go outside and have to get shit cracking, this the one I'm gonna grab because the type of ammo that it takes is very common out in in the United States. Um, it shoots the farthest of everything that I have. It's probably the most accurate one that I have, and it's really light. So, plus I got um. A magnifier on here so I can see farther with it so this is the one that I would grab if it was trying to go shoot people who was trying to like do whatever you know what I'm okay, saying yes. war ready how you think this one gonna sound loud as hell look at the barrel it's you think so? so loud oh yeah this is different this has let me unload this real quick because I want to try it two different ways I forgot this one has a muzzle brake and a muzzle brake cage on it from strike industries it's detachable so I can very easily take it off and now I got just the muzzle brake. This is used for if you're shooting with a team, the blast and concussion won't affect them. I'm going to shoot it like this first because I haven't tried this out yet. Then I'm going to put the cage on. I just got this muzzle device yesterday. Really? Yeah. New toys. Let's see. Shit. What do you think? You thought it was gonna be louder? Well, now we put the muzzle on it. I hope it muzzles out of it. Let's see. <laughs> I don't know if you can see, but you see the smoke is not so much going out to the sides anymore. It's kind of just kind of staying around the muzzle. So this one is loaded. I just put it on safe. So boom. Yep, that's good. It's ready to go. Mm. Sucky, sucky now. <laughs> How'd it feel? I like it. So out of all of these ones that you shot today, what uh -huh. you, which one was did you like the most? The Draco makes me feel the most powerful. Right. Which one were you most afraid of that when you shot it? You was like, oh, okay, it's not that bad. The Draco. The Draco, because I talked <laughs> the it The Draco, up, right? for sure. I scared you with it when I was like, all of it is going exactly. to be Exactly. After shooting, I think I like shooting the Draco the best, hands down. It's something about that big ball of fire at the end of everything that's yeah. just like. Yeah, and you could feel the warmth, too. Yes, it's fulfilling. Timon, I definitely thank you for bringing me out yeah, here. Yeah, absolutely. And showing me some things. Yeah, absolutely. I'm, I'm, I'm glad you came. Um, Yeah, it's really important for people to kind of, instead of just looking at guns from afar, putting hands on them. Because you learn that it's not as bad as it looks. Um, You understand that you're in control of this. This is not no big, scary thing. Mm. This is just a tool that people can use and pick up and use it how they want to use it. So... Yeah, thanks for coming out, you know, stepping outside of your comfort zone and, and actually, you know, putting your hands on some of these rifles. Oh, yeah, thank you, because I definitely am all the way outside of my comfort zone. Got some guns at home, but I'm just scared of them. But I don't think I'm going to be scared of the Glock no more. I got See? a Draco under my belt. Yeah, like. you shot the Drake. But all right, y'all, I should go bite size bubs. Yeah, it's T. Mon Phillips, New Richmond Podcast. Thank y'all for watching and tuning in. Get your concealed carrier's permit, ladies, gentlemen, arm yourselves safely. Stay safe and dangerous. Peace.